Hi, I'm Arjun Gopalan and welcome to episode 2 of Neural Structured Learning. In the previous episode, you learned about what Neural Structured Learning is and how this new learning paradigm can be used to improve model accuracy and robustness. In this episode, we'll discuss how Neural Structured Learning can be used to train neural networks with natural graphs. Before we begin, let's define what a natural graph is. Essentially, it's a set of data points that have an inherent relationship with each other. The nature of this relationship can vary based on the context. Social networks and the World Wide Web are classic examples that we interact with on a daily basis. Beyond these examples, they also occur in data that is commonly used for many machine learning tasks. For instance, if we are trying to capture user behavior based on their interactions with data, it might make sense to model the data as a co-occurrence graph. Alternatively, if we are working with articles or documents that contain references or citations to other documents or articles, then we can model the dataset as a citation graph. Finally, for natural language applications, we can define a text graph where nodes represent entities and edges represent relationships between pairs of entities. Now that we understand what natural graphs are, let's look at how we can use them to train a neural network. Consider the task of document classification. This is a problem that frequently occurs in a multitude of contexts. As an example, machine learning practitioners might be interested in categorizing machine learning papers based on a specific topic, such as computer vision or natural language processing or even reinforcement learning. And often, we have a lot of these documents or papers to classify, but very few of them have labels. So how can we use neural structure learning to accurately classify them? The key idea is to use citation information, whose existence is what makes the dataset a natural graph. What this means is that if one paper cites another paper, then both papers likely share the same label. Using such relational information from the citation graph leverages both labeled as well as unlabeled examples. This can help compensate for the insufficiency of labels in the training data. You might be wondering, well, all this sounds great, but what does it take to actually build a neural structured learning model for this task? Let's look at a concrete example. Since we're dealing with natural graphs here, we expect a graph to already exist in the input. The first step then is to augment the training data to include graph neighbors. This involves combining the input citation graph and the features of the documents to produce an augmented training data set. The packed neighbors API in neural structured learning handles this. And notice that it allows you to specify the number of neighbors used for augmentation. In this example, we use up to three neighbors. The next step is to define a base model. In this example, we have used Keras for illustration, but neural structured learning also supports the use of estimators. The base model can be any type of Keras model, whether it's a sequential model, a functional API-based model, or a subclass model. It can also have an arbitrary architecture. Once we have a base model, we define a graph regularization configuration object, which allows you to specify various hyperparameters. In this example, we use three neighbors for graph regularization. Once this configuration object is created, you can wrap the base model with the graph regularization wrapper class. This will create a new graph Keras model whose training loss includes a graph regularization term. You can then compile, train, and evaluate the graph Keras model just as you would with any other Keras model. As you can see, creating a graph Keras model is really simple. It requires just a few extra lines of code. A Colab-based tutorial that demonstrates document classification also exists on our website. You can find that in the description below. Feel free to check it out and experiment with it. In summary, we looked at how we can use natural graphs for document classification using neural structured learning. The same technique can also be applied to other machine learning tasks. In the next video, we'll see how we can apply the technique of graph regularization when the input data does not form a natural graph. That's it for this video. There's more information in the description below. And before we get to the next video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thank you.